Hi everyone and welcome back to HeroClix headquarters. Today I have with me a package that I just got in the mail from CoolStuffInc.com. Now this video is in no way sponsored by them, but I thought I would just unbox it here, show you guys what I got from them, and walk you through the steps of how I got it because I actually sold a lot of my old figures to get this stuff. So let's crack it open and check it out. So I got the uh, Avengers Defenders War Ghost Rider, if you can see him there. I love the sculpt on this guy, and I, I pulled him back when the set came out, but I had to uh, trade him or sell him or something, so I just really wanted him back. So I got the Nick Fury from the Captain Marvel movie set. Um, Alright, we got the Spider-Woman Super Rare Prime. I've really been wanting her for my... Um, Spider-Man family theme teams, um, Hellcat, she was like 50 cents, I didn't have her, so I was like, why not? Uh, the title Captain America from the Earth X set, he's pretty awesome, still needed him. Let's see, we got the Prime She-Hulk from the, uh, Secret Wars Battle World set. She was only like three bucks. I didn't have her either. I've been wanting her for a while. It's pretty cool. Um, we also got the other uh, Nick Fury and the uh, Phil Coulson rare from the Captain Marvel movie set because I just wanted them and this uh, the rare Captain Marvel shifting focus to fill out my collection from that set. We got a couple of. Wakandan Warriors, because you can never have too many of those. A, uh, what is this? Oh, the, moon, the, the Mockingbird from the, uh, old, uh, the Chaos War, I believe, starter set. Didn't have her yet. She's one of the only, like, two or three Mockingbirds that are really good, so I really wanted her for a while. And then a Black Widow from the uh, Avengers movie. She's only 35 points, and I've been wanting her for a while, too, when she was only, like, a dollar or two. Um, but onto the cool stuff from Cool Stuff. There was a lot of Colossals that I didn't get from the X-Men uh, animated Dark Phoenix Saga set. So, got a few of those. Let's see, we got the Cyclops Sentinel. He's really awesome. Been wanting him pretty bad. The uh, Banj Whedon, awesome big red dragon, super cool. And then we've got here the, the Blue Phoenix and Dark Phoenix, super awesome. I've been wanting her so bad. This is the number one thing. I only had one left in stock. I managed to get her at the last minute. Pretty awesome. Pretty lucky. And then all the cards for them there. Okay. And it looks like... It looks like they sent back... They must have broken uh, in shipping or something. They sent back a couple figures. So it's nice that they sent them back. Looks like that's everything. Alright, so I just took a minute to sort everything out and make sure everything's there. Everything's got the correct cards. Nothing's broken. Everything looks great. So... If you guys want to know how I got all these, what I did was um, I had a bunch of just extra commons and uncommons sitting around collecting dust from years of buying bricks and cases and random packs. And I just thought, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Maybe I can make some kind of money off of it. So I decided to send it into my personal favorite uh, Heroclix website to buy stuff, which is CoolStuffInc.com. Um, and... I've never sold anything on there before, so how it goes, if you're interested, is you go to the Buy tab, um, and from there you can go uh, to Hero Clicks and you can search things by set, 
And when you search the sets, it'll tell you what from that set they will buy from you. And if it's not listed, they do have a spot for uh, just Kerr and Super Rares. Um, so if you just have a bunch of extra Kerr, Common, Uncommon, Rare, um, and, or some extra Super Rares that they're not buying or Chases that they're not buying, you can click on the um, bulk for those and just add that to your cart, your buy cart. And uh, it's pretty simple. Um, from there, you have to separate them in little baggies, write what set it's from. Um, if it's bulk stuff, just put all the bulk stuff in one bag and just write, you know, bulk cur on it. And then you just box it up and ship it to them. And it's a pretty simple process, really. Um, it did take me a while because I had a lot of stuff. It cost me about $60 in shipping. Now, they don't uh, cover your shipping costs. So, um, but I got, uh, an, they had a deal going on that was an extra, I think 10%, it's normally 25%, um, that you get extra for, you know, in-store purchases. Uh, this, I got 35% extra for all my stuff, uh, for the little deal they had. So that was neat. Um, I got about 170 ish dollars worth of stuff for spending about $60 in shipping. Like I said, it was a big box. Um, and pretty heavy. So that's a pretty good deal. Plus it cleared out a lot of space in my garage. So win-win, I'd say. I got mainly this thing was my biggest want. I honestly didn't even think they would have her on there, but when I went to uh, use my gift card, they had one in stock, so I got pretty lucky. Um, and I think overall it's a pretty good haul. And like I said earlier, they did, uh, I guess a couple things broke during shipping, so they threw that in the box just to give it back to me, which, whatever, <laughs> nice enough that, uh, nice for the thought of it, I guess, but I'm probably just gonna have to throw them in the trash anyway. All in all, I'd probably rate the whole experience like 9 out of 10. Um, it was pretty easy, um, they did email me a couple times, uh, throughout the process, letting me know how everything went. Um, it did take a couple weeks, so, you know, that's fine. With everything going on, I can't blame them for that. And like I said, there was a lot of stuff in that box, so I don't blame them uh, for it take a couple weeks to go through. No big deal. Um, but then I got my money, and they sent me an email with a gift card, and that's that. Then you just shop on there and buy what you want. So pretty awesome, pretty fun. So... Uh, if you guys have any other questions, be sure to ask me that in the comments. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to leave a like and click that subscribe button for me. Until next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.